In this tutorial, we will look at synthesized strings and build our own polyphonic string synth. We are going to start by creating a square wave oscillator. We can do this with the basic phaser object. The phaser goes from 0 to 1. We check if it is greater than 0.5, so that the output is high for half the time and low for half the time. Change this point though, doing what is called pulse width modulation. Here we use an oscillator to slowly change the pulse width. With string synthesis, we want to have lots of things modulating to create a rich, complex sound. We can also modulate the frequency, adding vibrato. We will put all of this into a sub patch. Copy everything, create a new sub patch, like PD string synth, and paste the objects in. Add a regular inlet object at the top and a MIDI to frequency M to F object, and an outlet tilde at the bottom. Make sure you do not forget the tilde. The next thing we need to do is add an envelope so that the sound fades in and out. We are going to move our oscillators inside a second sub-patch so that we have room for the envelope objects. Unlike previous tutorials, we are going to hold notes on until we tell them to be turned off. As with most MIDI synths, a velocity of zero means note off. We use the SELECT object to distinguish between NOTE ON and NOTE OFFS. 
If the velocity is zero then we ramp down to zero in a certain amount of time. If it is greater than zero, then we scale the value into the range zero to one by dividing by 127, then ramp up to that value. The two number boxes are therefore attack time and decay time. Whoops. I should have connected the pack object to the line object. Silly me. Let's put the envelope in the sub patch too, to keep things nice and neat. Of course, we will want our synth to be polyphonic. You can find out more about polyphony in our rich synthesis tutorial number 3. We need to copy our string synth sub patch into a new PD patch and save us. Give your synth patch a name with no spaces like string synth.cl. Give your synth a name with no spaces like string synth.cl. You can then use the clone object to create a polyphonic version. We will create 16 voices. Because we want to turn notes on and off from outside the cloned object, we need a more sophisticated routing method than we have used in the past. The poly object does exactly what we need, keeping track of which voice is playing which note. Make sure your poly object has the same number as your cloned object in it. Note the minus one object. We can now turn lots of notes on and off. We will add a make note object to create lots of notes easily. The notes are at a velocity of 100 and last for 500 milliseconds. We will tidy this routing section into a sub patch.
great. This is working well. Let's tweak the sound of our string patch a little to make it richer and smoother though. First we will add some randomization so that each voice has different vibrato and pulse width modulation rates. We will duplicate the whole voice part so that we have two voices, with one slightly detuned for some extra smooth creaminess. Finally, we will add a low pass filter to remove some of the harsher higher frequencies. The filter cutoff is set relative to the incoming note frequency.